Hello students and welcome to We Classroom of English. Once again, this is Harpreet Kaur and here with today's topic, message writing. So let's get started and let us know what is message writing and what do you mean by message. Message means a short piece of information that you have to give to some other person when you cannot talk to him directly. If you can't talk to him directly, so what you do? You write a simple message very short, in a very short form, in a very short way to just convey your message to somebody else because you cannot talk to him directly. Okay. Now let us know some important points, some important instructions that you have to keep in mind while writing or drafting message. Okay. So first important thing is the message is always in a box like we do in notice writing message writing is also done in a box make a box and then start writing the message word limit is always less than 50 words clear 50 words is other hum words use nahi karenge it's an approx idea it's not so compulsory ki that you have to do use only 50 it's in just a rough idea then salutation like if you're writing your ma your mom to your brother or to your sister whatever so you can write a salutation in starting dear mom dear dad yeah whatever then date and time is also required it's compulsory mention is not uh, mentioning of address is not required clear now second uh, and most important thing that you have to keep in mind is use very simple sentences Simple words and only important points. Extra information you don't have to give in the box. How are you? What are you doing? And so on. You just have to be up to the mark, up to the point. Whatever you have to convey, whatever message you have to give, write straight from that only and just give that message. Use very simple sentence that the message will come in front of the audience. Next is use indirect speech. Take care. Direct speech will not be written. Indirect speech will be written. And next is last point. You have to write the name at the right, left hand side. Jo bhi sender hoga, apna naam left hand side mein note karega. So let us see the format or clear ho jayega apko how to write the message writing. Sab, sabse pehle is you have to draw a box. See I have drawn a black box. Then in the center I will write message, the word message and underline it. Then on the left hand corner, I will write the date on which I am writing that message. Ruby date. Hai. Suppose you are writing 2nd October, ko, 1st October, ko, 12th April, ko, whatever. Write the entire date. And extreme right hand side corner, mein you can write the date. But date, uh, sorry, time. Time is optional. Either you can write in the right side or you can write below the date. Up date ke niche, jahan yaha par 12th April 2020 likha hai, ab uske niche bhi time dal sakte hai. But it seems nice ki agar hum usse right side mein notice kare. Thik hai? Then time is completed. Now leaving one line, we will give the salutation. Jis ko bhi hum likh rahe hai. For example, agar hum mom ko likh rahe hai. So I will write dear mom. Thik hai? If I am writing to my friend, I will say dear friend. Whatever the name is. Then leaving one more line. What I will do, I will give the main body of the main message, whatever the main message is, वो मैं यहाँ लिखूँगी, whose message you are conveying, किसका message आप दे रहे हैं, क्या message देना चाह रहे हैं आप, किसने call किया था, क्या बताया था आपको, और कोई अगर main important चीज़ है, lastly follow up if required, कि आप कहाँ जा रहे हैं, क्योंकि आप message क्यों लिख कर जा रहे हैं, and so on. But mind my previous instructions that the word limit should not cross fifty. It's an approx idea. Second thing is use very simple uh, sentences, simple words, hard words or complicated words, meanings nahi use karne hai. And next important thing is up to the mark rehna hai aapko. Don't use extra uh, words uh, or extra things like how are you, where are you going and so on. And end with the name of the sender. Suppose Avish is writing the message, then sender name will be Avish. Clear? Now let us say one practice question. And it will be more clear to you. Suppose you are Avish. If you are Avish hai, and you are going to the coaching class. And you have to message drop a message for your mom. Because they are in the market. Hai, and their papa ka, uh, sorry, aapke father ka call came to And they told him that he will be late. And he will not join us for the dinner. Because of an important meeting. His call came to father ka, that he will be late at home. Rat ko late aayenge, and he will not take dinner also. And right now, your mama is not in the house. She is in the market. And till when she will come back? You have to go out for the coaching class. So, you will not be able to do You cannot give that message to your mom directly. You can't directly. Bata sakte hai. So, at that time, what you will do? You will leave a message. Okay. message kaise leave karenge? Let us see. 
same procedure i will draw a box in the center i will write capital letter may i will write message and underline it left hand corner may i will write the date 1st october 2020 in the right hand corner i will write the time suppose i am writing that message at 5 pm so i mentioned 5 pm dear mom i am giving the salutation kis jisko likh rahi hu main mom ko so i am writing dear mom father called up in your absence i told you in direct speech mein likha hai maine ise father called up in your absence father ka call aaya tha in your absence matlab aapke absence mein jab aap nahi thi and what he told and told to inform you that he will be late today he was late aayenge and will not join us for dinner because of an important meeting kyunki unke yahan ek important meeting hai he will be not taking dinner with us i am going for coaching class that's it no need for giving extra information how are you when you will come back take your lunch dinner and etc don't give extra information just end with your name that is center was avish it was given the center was avish so i will write the name avish and thus close the box from below here the message is complete so always keep in mind that the message should be up to the mark up to the point no extra information required center mein the message heading should be there date is required on the left side time is required on the right side salutation is compulsory and the main message should be up to the mark with simple words simple sentences and end with the sender's name so girls thank you bye bye take care and do watch this video more and more to get practice of message writing bye bye take care